Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. Let's continue our recent topic. This time, we make the system a little simpler, but make the problem a little more challenging. Let's consider a league with only four teams. Each season, every two teams play twice. With three points for a victory, one point for a draw, and no points for a loss. At the end of a season, there are no two teams that obtain the same points. So at least how many points does the championship team have to obtain? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Let's take a look at an even simpler case first. What if it was a two-team league? This is very simple, as the two teams only have two games, and there are only four possibilities. The first team wins both games. So the two teams end up with 6 and 0 points respectively. The first team has one win and one draw. So they end up with 4 and 1 points respectively. Both teams win one game each. And end up with 3 points each. Both games were tied. And the final points are both 2. In both the latter two cases, the two teams have the same points. So those cases will not be considered. The first two cases satisfy the requirements. Obviously. In the second case the first team has fewer points. So this is the final answer. Then what about a three-team league? There will be many more possibilities, but they can still be listed one by one. And the final answer is that the first team wins one game versus the third team, and draws in all other games, resulting in a total of six points. The second team has all games in a draw, with a total of four points. The third team losses one game to the first team and end all the other games in a draw. So they have a total of 3 points. Now let's summarize these two situations. No matter how many teams are there in the league, if we expect that, the championship team obtains few points, two things must be kept in mind. First, all teams should have as few points as possible. Second, the difference between all teams should be as small as possible. These two things bring a common conclusion. That is, to draw as many games as possible. If without the requirement that, no two teams have the same score. The answer is obviously that, all games end in a draw. But now we have this requirement. There will be some games that don't end in a draw. And, at most, only one team finish their all games in a draw. The reason is simple. If more than one team's final records are all games or a draw, then their points will be the same. Regarding the four teams case, at least three teams experience a game that is not a draw, so at least two games don't end in a draw. Four teams have a total of 12 games. When 10 out of them end in a draw, and two games don't, all teams obtain 2 times 10, plus 3 times 2, for a total of 26 points. While dividing the 26 points into four unequal parts, and expect the largest part to have the fewest points, we can first divide 26 by 2, which equals 13. The middle two are therefore 7 and 6. And the first and last are 8 and 5. Each team has 6 games. The first team's record can be 1 win and 5 draws. The second, 1 win, 4 draws and 1 loss. Third, 6 draws. And the fourth, 5 draws and 1 loss. Specifically, is this kind of result possible? We still have to check. If the first team wins 1 game versus the second, the second wins one game versus the fourth. And all the other ten games end in a draw. That can be exactly the case. As we have seen, this kind of problem is not too difficult for a league composed of four teams. So what if there are 20 teams? Thank you for watching, and see you next time.